All right, guys, it's uh, Thursday, August 25th, and we're doing a vacant school lot here. The school was torn down, but I just got my first good signal. We've been here about 10 minutes. Just a bling ring. Came in just like an Indian. Go play it. All right, keep working here. Get back with you for anything good. All right, guys, next find here was... Uh, uh, 1246 yeah, it's down about five inches and a 1944 Canadian penny all right cool fine keep going so we'll let you know if find anything else all right guys I'm working the back where the school used to stand uh, it's got a 1345 down about I don't know. That bottle's about three and a half inches. It's down about three inches. And we'll get a silver here. Pull it out here and see what it is. It's gonna be rosy. Spread off a little bit. My cousin found a rosy up on top of the hill. Kids is a 61. Yeah, 62. Awesome. And D mint mark. Alright, I'm gonna keep working this little area and yeah, this used to be the parking lot, so. Alright, I'll get back with you for finding more. Alright guys, next signal is a 1347. About six. Yeah, I'd say six, seven inches down, down this gravel. Let's uh, get another silver. It's like a 41 mark. I already cleaned it up a little bit because I thought I scratched it. It's tarnished a little bit. I, I might have scratched it a little bit right there. But you can't help it in these gravels. And I can't tell if there's a mint mark. Alright, we'll keep going here so we can find anything else. I'll let you know. Okay guys, it's Friday, uh, August 26th. I went to a new permission. This is my uh, second signal. I was getting a 1347. Uh, it's only down about three inches. Three or four. And looks like we got a sterling ring here. Hopefully. Small. Oh yeah. All right, let me spray this off, clean it up, see if I can get a marking out of the inside. I'll get right back. Okay, I got it cleaned up. It's got a pretty cool little pattern on it. Uh, flowers and bells. And it does say sterling. Need to focus. Right there. All right, I'll keep going here. Second target, so. Off to a good start. I'll let you I'll get back with you if I find anything else. All right, guys, it's Saturday, August 27th. Uh, just got too hot yesterday. Now uh, we're just doing a little quick hunting. Just got this button. If anybody knows what kind that is, let me know. I don't know how old it is. Back's going to shot. All right, I'll let you know if I find anything else. All right, guys, next signal here, down about five inches. Uh, the worst. Kind of the worst silver signal I've had. Uh, it was a 2247 one way, and then a 1045 the other way. But it just made it to 64. No mint mark. Must be uh, some iron in the hole. So, all right, I'll get back with you. All right, guys, uh, we're in an empty lot here where there was an old house torn down but it's got a nickel signal got a pretty cool find American Aviation I think it was some kind of a pin I mean it's missing whatever was on the back that's a pretty neat find 
All right, we'll keep going. Let's get fun of the else. Okay, guys, here's a wrap up for uh, a few hunts this week. I got got to get out a few times. It's been brutally hot. There's some of the scrap, and then as far as clad, I dug uh, nine quarters, twenty dimes, uh, sixty-six memorials. And one nickel for a total of 496 in clad. And then this stuff here came from one of my 1800s fields. Uh, I think this is a lipstick. I'm not 100% sure. But it's what it looks like. One of the reeds, harmonica reed, another part of a harmonica reed. And a little, I'm not sure how old that is. Looks like maybe a 22 caliber and today I got got this piece at, an, at another spot it says American aviator looks like a piece that was missing I don't know if it was a pin possibly that's pretty neat find. Then I got this button. Looks naval. Not a hundred percent sure, but and then did get a half of a marble today. And I got some rings. This is just a junker, aluminum. And this is an Avon ring. Found this at the old school. This is Avon. And this, somebody may have tried to make into a ring. It's just a copper brass piece cut off and then this is uh, the best ring it's sterling it has a flower and wedding bells I looked it up and it's a it's an actual wedding band from the 1930s Let's see if I can get inside. Sterling right there. And Uncas is the maker. So that was a good find. Then as far as wheats, I got a 1930, a 45, and a 51. Then I got a 44 Canadian. And silvers, I got a 62 Rosie, the D mint mark, and I got a 41 Merc, new mint mark. And then I got a 64 Rosie. No mint mark on that. Anyway, guys, that was the hunt for this week, and uh, hope everybody's having some luck out there. And thanks for watching. Uh, good luck and happy hunting. See you next week.